Hey everyone, this is Mr. Holdout. Sorry I've been gone a while. Um, I kind of stopped recording and putting stuff on YouTube because I felt like my PC just wasn't recording stuff in as good a quality as I wanted. So I kind of just gave up on it for a while, but I've made some upgrades on my PC, so hopefully I'll be able to record and hopefully better quality. So we'll go ahead and give this a try. Um, some of you may have known, I think I mentioned it on Discord, but I started building some stuff on City Skylines, and what I'm working on now is, or are, are these lakefront properties. Now, this map I'm working on here is absolutely huge. So, hey, why ain't this? Oh, hang on a minute, I don't know why this isn't turning. Why aren't you turning? Do I have to? No, I can't. Oh, there we go. I got to use that. Okay. I don't know what. I just completely kooked out there for me. Anyway, I got to use the mouse wheel turn. Anyway, I'll go ahead and show you what I have worked on so far. And hopefully, uh, you'll enjoy what I got built so far. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this started. I have time pause right now so it doesn't get any darker. So, this is the first lakefront property I built. Um, I'm thinking about building another one over here somewhere. I know this doesn't look really big, but this is actually a ton of land and it takes quite a long time to build. So I'll go ahead and show you the first one here. Let me zoom in. So obviously you can see that this is the main road and then the lakefront property branches off over here. Then you come down over here. And this is the first one I've got built here. So yeah, this one's this one's definitely a lot simpler than the other one I built, but overall I think it looks quite nice. This is just me getting my feet wet. I'm still pretty new to this game. I've probably only put in about 50 hours into this game, so there's still a lot for me to learn. But overall, I think it turned out pretty well for my first lakefront property build. Unfortunately, I don't have anything built on the lakefront just yet. I wasn't sure what I was going to do, and I stopped working on this for. A couple of months and I didn't I wanted to go ahead and get a video out so I decided just to go ahead and leave this as is and I might come back and do a follow-up video if I make any more progress but this is basically what I've got so far you might notice some flickering that is that's the textures the stuff I put down that flickering is not your imagination it, I can see it in my game too so it's just one of the unfortunate parts of Using mods, sometimes they a bit wonky. Sometimes, and as you can see, how much you see how many trees are here. I had to put down all these trees to obviously fill in the gap, and I'm not going to be able to put trees in all over here. That's that that would probably kill my PC, so I'm not going to do that. I'm only putting it around the immediate area of whatever home I'm building, just to fill it in and make it look nice. Um, but yeah, I'll probably do something over here later. Let's go ahead and show you this one. This is going to be a short video. I only wanted to show you what I've been working on so you can see what I've been up to. Now this one, see, this is a huge, huge road. Obviously, I didn't put trees because it's just it's so many trees. You can see right now I'm only at 33 FPS right now. So, But again, I'm not, really, I'm not one of the people who builds entire cities and only puts a mansion, mansion or two just plop them down randomly. I like building these things that are separate from everything else. And a lot of people, they just will build an entire city and they'll fit in a mansion or a palace somewhere and kind of make it look more organic. I don't really do that. I like to just go out into an open space and build something and make it as, and let my imagination run wild. Although maybe I will build a city at some point. But right now I'm just focusing on building specific things. So obviously if we come up here, now this one has a bit more work. You can see I put a lot more thought into the landscaping. Now you may notice that the landscaping is a bit weird looking. That's because I have a landscaping tool for that lets me alter the terrain. Unfortunately that tool is very difficult to use. So I can't make everything slope perfectly. So I kind of had to do the best I could. So you might notice how this kind of curves really weird in the road here, even though it comes up. 
it's got it's, the curve is not a perfect slope, and that's just an unfortunate part of me not knowing the game well enough. But luckily for my Fallout 4 days, I'm pretty good at decorating, so you can see the landscaping does. From what I did build, it does look quite nice. Uh, this one's not really done either. I, you know, I, I didn't want to spend a couple. I didn't want to spend a couple extra days because, or I didn't want to spend a couple extra days working on stuff because I just wanted to go ahead and get this video out to let you guys see what I've done so far. Um, you can see I went with a uh, with red with this place. The red's the overall theme. Probably hear the birds chirping. I didn't put anything here because I just didn't. It's such a big space. I didn't know what to put here. I'm probably gonna put something there once I figure it out. But really, the only thing I decorated was down here. Now this, oh my god, this thing was absolutely horrible to try to get to work. Basically, I knew at some point I wanted there to be. I wanted there to be some kind of a little. I guess some kind of a sitting area where people can look out over and enjoy the lakefront basically get to enjoy the lake because I couldn't really build it here because it wasn't close enough so I decided well I'll make a thing that comes down here and you can see how much I had to mess with the terrain here I had to put all kinds of extra rocks here to try to make it look organic you can see the water is completely freaked out see how the water is just I don't know what's causing that but when you zoom in it looks pretty nice the only one bat, the only one thing that I, aside from the mountain front, aside from this that looks a bit awkward, the only thing that I wasn't able to fix was this right here. This actually is a little bit, this corner right here is a little bit above ground. It doesn't quite match up with the pavement here, so I put grass around it to kind of hide it to make it look more to high that it doesn't match up with the pavement here, but. I don't know, I'm starting to think maybe I should have just taken this ramp out and just let it be a, dirt, a grass trail. Maybe that would have looked better, I don't know. This game is actually pretty hard to build stuff on. When you want to build elaborate stuff like I do, some people, you know, if you wanted to build a simple city, just build roads and buildings and some basic decorations, it's really not that hard to build, but when you build elaborate stuff like this, what I'm doing here where you want to build these huge lakefront properties, it can get pretty... It can get pretty uh, difficult, so. But that's the that's pretty much what I have built so far. You can see how many trees I had to put around. I don't think it's possible to put trees all the way around. I just it would probably be too taxing on my computer, so I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm pretty much only going to put trees around whatever wherever the property's at, and I don't know how many properties I'm going to build. I'm probably going to build one here. I think just to do one more, um, build one more. I saw some really good, uh, I guess you call them mansions or palaces that just got added a couple months ago. So I have some good options for to build a third lakefront property. So I'll most likely put another one in at some point. Typically, what I do with this game is usually I build a little bit. I build whatever I'm going to build, and then I just never come back to the map because this is this is it. this right here is its own map. I have a, I've had other I have other maps where I've built stuff so yeah so this is what I have built I'll probably upload some other videos some other stuff but I just wanted you guys to see what I have done so far with this game so you know I haven't completely given up building yet. I still enjoy building but and now that I've got my PC upgrade I should be able to hopefully record some stuff without losing quality that's one reason why I didn't want to record so much before is because the quality wasn't as good as I wanted it to be so anyway I think I'll wrap the video up here and I'll see you guys next time